Thank you, honey, for helping. Grace, Grace, time for breakfast. We are going to be late for school, honey. Is she still sleeping? Oh, honey, keep eating your breakfast, okay? I'll go get your sister, okay? All right. Be a good boy. Thank you. Breakfast, honey. Right. Uh, by the way, what, what's that smell? It smells like strawberry in here. It's the new air freshener that my friend got me. Okay, okay, then come out for breakfast. Okay, you mom. can be late. Listen up, parents. This is a message for you about what your teen may be doing and you have no clue. Vaping. As you saw in the video, vaping devices can be disguised as everyday items like ink pens, USB drives, phone cases, you name it, it could be a vape device. Vape juice labels can even look just like your child's favorite candy. What's more, the aroma. In the video, Grace's vape smelled like strawberries. Gone are the days where you have a distinct nasty cigarette smell. Vape commonly smells like air fresheners, candy, mint, scents that are pleasant. But what isn't pleasant are the side effects. Just last school year, we had a middle school student who was rushed to the emergency room after a bad reaction to vaping. Vapes or e-cigarettes commonly contain nicotine, a highly addictive drug in regular cigarettes, cigars, and other tobacco products. Studies indicate that nicotine can harm the parts of your brain that control attention, learning, mood, and impulse control among adolescents. The use of nicotine also increases the risk of the use of cigarettes as well as other street drugs. Oh, but we are not done yet. E-cigarettes can also contain ultrafine particles that can be inhaled deep within the lungs. They can contain flavorings like diacetyl, which is a chemical linked to lung disease. E-cigarettes can contain volatile organic compounds and cancer-causing chemicals. E-cigarettes are fairly new, so there isn't any long-term research on how much more they could potentially be harming your child. The bottom line, they're not good. E-cigarettes are harmful, and your child should not be sneaking around to vape. Along with vaping being illegal for those younger than 21, here in Perry Township Schools, it's against school policy. Students who are caught vaping can be suspended and even expelled. This is a real problem of epic proportions afflicting our youth. Let's do our part to stop it. Learn more at perryschools.org where you can find additional resources that include the harmful effects of vaping.